Hi everybody, welcome again to another episode of Fish Keeping Jamaica. Come to my channel. Okay, so today is maintenance day and I am actually checking on my fish stock around the back. Now, as you all know, I have some Jaguar cichlids in one of my ponds, right? Um, out of the hundred and odd that actually spawn, a few and odd that actually spawn, a few months ago, I only had 14 left. Now, one of the things that I have realized, um, spawning, well, some fish, when they do spawn, when they do have babies, is that it's really difficult for the aquarist or uh, for the person actually breeding these fish to actually keep these fish within the same space. Now, I have Jaguar Sixes, and as you all know, Jaguar Sixes are very aggressive, right? I place, I, I divided them up into groups and I place them into different tubs. What I realized is that in one of my tubs where I had about probably about four or five, I ended up with only one. And the one that I ended up with is a larger one and it says it, that that's the aggressive one, right? I, I, I still have about probably about uh, 12, 11, 12 uh, Jaguar Cichlid um, juveniles. Uh, hopefully I can get a pair or two, right? Uh, one thing I've realized with my convict cichlids, on the other hand also, is that uh, my convict cichlids spawn, they would spawn like a hundred babies or more, right? And the, the babies, as you can see um, in the pond right now, uh, the babies, they would actually stay at the bottom. Once they have actually moved up to the top to try to get some feed or to, you know, get a, a glimpse of the sunlight, what you find is that they will be eaten by the adults that are actually swimming at the top. So as, as juvenile as they might seem right now, as you're seeing, uh, they will actually be consumed by the larger ones. So I, I've never actually seen this um, in my years of actually keeping fish. But, um, you know, usually I, I would move the, 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 the convict cichlid parents uh, from the space, place them into another space in which they would spawn and I would get babies and it would continue. But uh, for these, this batch, it's about, probably about 100 and odd within, within this tub. I have actually decided to keep these, grow them out and actually have small tubs with babies, um, you know, going out differently, separately. But, you know, the larger one, they still spawn within this space. And what I found is that um, of about uh, probably about a hundred um, convict cichlid, I will probably get about probably about four or five. So it's less than, uh, it's really less than 5%. So less than 5% spawn uh, within this space. And the same thing actually works out for the Jaguar cichlid. I remember I, I had about probably about a hundred flies swimming uh, around the adult Jaguar cichlid. And uh, within uh, probably about two weeks, I, I saw probably about uh, 50 and then when in, in separating them, placing them into smaller tub, I realized that the numbers keep going down and it is not that the adults are actually consuming them, but it's that they are actually fighting and killing themselves. Now, because I have snails within my fish pond, what I find is that I don't see them floating. The snails will actually consume them. So I be there feeding things that um, I have X amount of uh, juveniles when in truth and in fact, um, the, the amount of juveniles have actually decreased. Uh, this is really here for another episode of Fish Keeping Jamaica. Join me next time as I share in my experience, in my outdoor experience, fish keeping in Jamaica. Peace out. Have a wonderful day. Catch you next time.